Hi guys, it's Carissa, and I wanted to do a first impression video for you on a new product that I'm trying. I've been really loving liquid lipstick lately. In fact, um, I received some gift cards for Christmas, and I picked up two of the new formula of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have one of the old formula that's a little bit of a sparkly red. Recently, I had seen on Instagram that there was going to be liquid lipstick launched this past week by the Anastasia Beverly Hills line and I just had to try it because the quality of her products I just have a feeling she's like a real ball buster you know like she just has really high standards I just know she sends stuff back she's got to over and over again until it's perfect because her stuff is just so good so I tried not to freak out and just order like six of them I really really looked at the colors and I also thought okay you have liquid lipsticks in two red shades right now, pretty bold shades. Try and go a little bit different, you know, and, and only try two. So I selected Pure Hollywood. That one right off the bat was the first color I knew I was going to want to try. And then the next one that kept standing out to me was Karina, which is a really bright shade that I probably won't use a ton of this time of year, but hopefully I love it for the spring. So I received them yesterday. And the packaging is really pretty. I am wearing this one now. I put this on this morning when I did my hair and makeup and I had to run some errands and you know I was drinking out of my bottled water and everything and I feel like I really still like how it looks considering I drank a whole bunch of water and you know I was talking to people and doing stuff. If it looks a little bit glossy to you it's because I did layer this Smashbox gloss over it. So I'll just show you here. It's a doe foot applicator, nothing, you know, super fancy, but I love how it sucks out a whole bunch of product on the tip of the wand. And here is the color of this one. Woo! See how nice that is? How rich the color is? I will take this off and put it right back on so you can see it without the gloss. Okay, so here are my bare lips. They're all angry because I just whipped that... <laughs> I just wiped that other product off. That other product. I wiped this off. Okay, so. Let's see how this looks. Now, here's the thing, in my opinion, when it comes to liquid lipstick. Um... And this is how I felt about the old formula of the Kat Von D as well. I feel like I couldn't use a lip liner with it. Which is tough because this one gives me a little bit of trouble because it's so dark. But I feel like a lip liner looks very much like you have a lip liner on. Unless there were one formulated specifically for the color that you're wearing. And even then sometimes they don't match enough. And I don't like that, you know, really super drawn look. But I don't mind an overdrawn look. Uh, which I tend to get because my lips have very round edges and I just press them together naturally a lot on my own. So it kind of blurs the edges and I kind of get an overdrawn look. But you do have to be careful to really get at every edge. Um, so just for example, I'm noticing one of the peaks on my lip here. I didn't really fill. Give that a second to dry. But if you don't, you can see the edges of the outline of your mouth, if you're the type that likes to be really careful about that. Now, I think that obviously people are very unlikely to be that close to my face and looking at those details, but with a darker color, that might be an issue. So we'll see how I feel once I put this on. It has a very um, just dry texture to it, um, a little bit tacky, but not sticky. It just feels like... I don't know it uh, I don't know how to explain that it's just a little bit rubbery feeling that sounds awful um, it's not unpleasant it has a very easy wear feel I do tend to really like the look of a gloss so as much as I like this I would probably tend to put some kind of gloss over it just because I a lot of the time prefer that look now these sat outside for quite a while yesterday I did notice when I opened them that there were some dry looking kind of cracked not filled in spots on the actual tube with this one as I opened and closed it just for application that sort of went away it just sort of redistributed some of the product yikes that's bright
So this color is so bright, it's messing with the white balance on my camera. It's fun. This is different for me. This is definitely something that I wouldn't normally have selected. I also would have been worried about it making my teeth look yellow, but it doesn't really appear to... I don't know. Maybe you guys would think differently. This is really cute, but I don't think I would wear this one without a gloss. At least not at first. I think I would feel a little bit like I needed something extra. Let me just slap a little bit of this on there. I do think I like that. I think some people might think that gloss makes color look a little bit more extreme, but I think when it's matte, it's just like, whoa, right in your face. I also probably wouldn't pair it with the same colors um, for eyeshadow or just maybe even with what I'm wearing. This isn't how I would normally wear it, but I'm kind of proud of myself for stepping outside of my, my own, you know, ideal color range and trying something new. And I don't think it's so out there that I wouldn't normally wear it. It isn't orange or, you know, something like that. If you don't like those long wearing lipsticks that do have a little bit of a drier formula, you probably won't care for this. And I do think that it's good to put a little bit of a moisturizer or a balm underneath. Um, just put it on just before and even blot it a little bit this time of year anyway. What does bum me out a little bit is that yesterday I was in a hurry but I saw that L'Oreal has a liquid lipstick line that came out and it has so many color options and I was just, it just killed me that I didn't have a little bit of time to spend and look at it and pick one out to compare to this. So when I was out today I also didn't have a ton of time but I looked in a couple of places that normally would carry something like that and they don't have them yet. So if you're curious about those at all, and even if there are specific colors that you'd like to see, let me know because I could make a video on the L'Oreal ones as well. Just so you know, these are not, these, these are not like transfer, transfer. Just a side note, these are not transfer proof or anything. They definitely do smudge and smear. So if that's, you know, something you're concerned about or something that you were hoping to get out of this product, that's not the case. They just are long wearing and they're very opaque. Something that is similar already at the drugstore are the Rimmel Apocalypse um, or Show Off glosses. These are basically the same idea. They have a really cool applicator and a cute package and they go on with like a really rich wash of color over your lips, just like these do. I think that if they were to market these today, they would probably say that they were liquid lipsticks, just because I think that's a thing right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this is fun for you or answers some questions that you might have. If you have additional questions, leave them below. I don't really feature products like this um, all the time because there isn't a lot. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying to be like on top of everything all the time, but there are things that come up that I get excited about, that I want to try. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.